Well, it's only the very beginning of the month, and I'm already in full Burt Reynolds mode. Just kidding. I, I don't have enough testosterone coursing through my veins to grow a thick stash like that in just a few days, but I will be growing my real mustache out to the best of my abilities to raise awareness for men's health issues. The first Movember kicked off nearly 20 years ago in Melbourne, Australia with just 30 participants. By 2006, more than 55,000 people raised roughly $9.3 million for men's mental health issues, prostate cancer, and testicular cancer research. Today, the organization has funded more than 1,200 projects across 20 countries. This is a completely new look for me, and to be completely honest with you, I'm not too sure how to feel about it. So if I'm going to do it right, I'll need the help of a good friend and colleague, Mr. Keir White from 101.5 The Bear. He's participated in Movember since 2009 and currently has one of the most glorious lip sweaters in all of northern BC. It's about self-identity. It's about being strong enough to stand on your own two legs. And first and foremost, it's about looking sweet. For anyone else planning on joining in on the Movember festivities, Keir says it's really not all fun and games. There are some crucial things you must keep in mind. Avoid a lot of sticky based foods, all right? You're not going to want to have uh, syrup, so pancake, waffles, those are right out the window. Uh, peanut butter and jam sandwiches, throw that away because the jam will end up in your mustache for sure. Well, I certainly can't promise a mustache as luscious and pure as Kier's, but I'll be doing my best. And my Movember account is completely set up. It's ready to go. And for anyone looking to support the cause, you can find a link to the fundraiser on the CJDC Facebook page. Austin Lee, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John. Salon and barber services provided by Skinnovations. Be swept away to a world of peace and tranquility at Skinnovations Salon and Day Spa.